The 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show is actually the European debut for this, the third generation of the Mazda 3. Now I actually get to drive this car at the end of the month, but what can I tell you about it now? It's available from January next year and can be bought as a hatchback or a fastback saloon and prices start from 16695 on the road. Both the hatchback and the saloon are available with two petrol or one diesel engine and all of them feature start-stop technology as standard. The two petrol engines are a 2 litre and an all new 1.5 which claims to emit 119 grams per kilometre of CO2 and return 55.4 miles to the gallon. But the 2.2 litre diesel will be the big seller. Priced from £19,000, it's got 150 brake horsepower and still claims to return 72 miles to the gallon. The three will be available with five different trim levels. SE is the entry level, which includes 16 inch alloy wheels, air conditioning, power and heated door mirrors and a seven inch touchscreen display. And new features also include internet access and the head up display. So how does the new Mazda 3 compare to the model it replaces? Well, it's actually bigger in all dimensions, but the most important of all is the wheelbase, which is six centimetres longer. It's claimed to be the longest wheelbase in this class, and it should mean loads of interior space. And as you can see, the looks have been massively updated to be in line with the new Mazda 6 saloon. It looks fantastic, and the improved aerodynamics will help improve efficiency as well. And more good news is, there is very little price premium to pay for the saloon over the hatchback. Now to find out more about this, keep your eyes peeled at the end of September for our full first drive report and video. Click one of the links below for our full reviews of the outgoing Mazda 3, the current Mazda 6 saloon and for all of the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show cars.